Welcome back. Gun buyers fired up about a rule that now forces them to declare their race and ethnicity before they can buy a gun. Questions popped up on this ATF forum in 2012. What is really going on here? Well, Emily Miller, the investigative reporter for Fox 5 in D.C. and author of Emily Gets Her Gun, joins us to explain. Emily, welcome. Glad to have you on this morning. Now, Thanks, these Walter. questions have been on the forums for an awful long time. And I remember answering these 20 years ago when I bought a shotgun. Mm-hmm. Are they, is it now mandatory to answer them? And if so, why? Well, it's always been mandatory to fill in the blank. This is the form, 4473, that when you buy a gun from a dealer, you have to fill out. It's always had the question of race race in it. And it used to be you could just fill it in yourself, handwrite it, didn't have the little boxes. What changed in 2012 in the Obama administration is they, one of one of the things is they took out the box other. So if you didn't want to give your race to the federal government in buying a gun, if you felt there's no need to, since you're exercising your constitutional right, as you said earlier, you didn't have to. Um, they also changed this box. They have another box. One is also, are you Latina or not? Are you Hispanic or not? And those are two separate boxes. And so what happened is very quietly this happened. And now what what the gun dealers have to do is they have to make sure that you fill out all those blanks. Now, of course, a lot of gun owners, uh, I'm a one, you're one, feel that why does the government need to know my race or ethnicity to buy a gun? What, how is that? Has, what law enforcement reason is there right. for doing that? Or, or for any reason, for that matter, it's a completely creepy, out of bounds question that's nobody's business. So why not a massive campaign of civil disobedience where everybody who buys a gun claims to be American Indian and prove I'm not? Give me, give me a blood <laughs> test. I mean, no, really. Why not do that? Well, well, because it's a federal, it's a federal crime. I mean, one well, so, thing we don't want to Are they going to give you a blood test? Like, has anybody challenged the notion that it's government's business what race you are? Isn't the lesson of the 1940s that we're against racial classification? No. Okay, well, Tucker, I I don't have enough money to bail you out of federal prison when you go lie on this form and say you're American Indian. <laughs> I'm like, because the one thing we, if you lie on this form, that's the only thing, and that's actually the, one of the bigger issues here is this is the background check that the Obama administration wants so badly to have every gun go through because they say that will somehow prevent gun crime. Well, obviously the criminals aren't filling out forms before they buy their gun, well, but course. lying on the form is the crime. That's the what you're doing is it's perjury. But the Obama administration isn't pursuing them. In fact, they only prosecute about 60 people a year right. for lying on these forms. So I don't want you to lie on the form because you will get caught. But well, people do. <laughs> I'm sure people do lie, but those are the criminals. And so you do have to say the truth. My question is, I think, and a lot of questions people are wondering is specifically this one box that's just Latina, Hispanic, because that is such an important voting block. Now, these forms are supposed to only be at the gun dealer. ATF is not supposed to have them. When they call the information in to do the check, the records are only supposed to last for 24 hours. Unless there is a denial, it can last for three days. And that's what prevents a registry. And that's what prevents the federal government to knowing who the Hispanics are. But, you know, that's a very interesting question here, politically. Interesting. I I, I wish the same scrutiny had been applied to the junior senator from Massachusetts on the American Indian question. Uh, Thanks so (laughs) much, Emily. Thanks. (laughs) Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.